Mode and save game. Control. Video and audio. Credits. Quit. New game. Once among the stars, a great war raged. A malevolent power had been released and had taken the form of an evil tyrant named Tyler. His madness laid waste to an entire world until one rose from the ashes to oppose him. Her name was Julie. And when the battle was done, she alone stood triumphant. Since that day, 30 years have passed. Julie and the survivors of the Great War sought to rebuild their lives back on the colony of Eden. As the colonists rebuilt their world, they discovered something wonderful. The water within Eden is the beginning and end of all life. None of the colonists have aged in the past 30 years. And this time they protected their world with a powerful energy shield and an orbiting FAC-2 hazard beacon. Knowing that the shield would keep possible attackers at a distance, and the beacon hiding their secret under the veil of a fatal wasteland, the colonists have grown happy in their comfort and safety. But the universe is full of would-be gods. And the machines of man alone cannot change the call of destiny. Sister, you should be resting. Nah, I'm fine. Besides, it's a fine morning to look at the sky. Even more so with this morning's news. What news? A big asteroid hit the shield this morning. Did you hear it? No, I guess my mind must be elsewhere today. Well, snap out of it. It's a beautiful day. And my baby knows it too. He's kicking like a creeper this morning. I think I should rest today. If you see Jermaine in town, tell him to come feed me. This baby's hungry. I'll be sure to give your hubby a swift boot to the ass and send him on his way. Greetings, Julie. Hey, Balthasar. The morning dew is working wonders for these Nova Lilies. Yeah, the place looks great. That'd look a lot better if these schleeks would stop eating everything I plant. Come here, you little... Just, just, just stay still. Ha! If they weren't so easy to catch, uh, I don't know what I'd do. Looks like they throw well, too. Ha! The little buggers sure do. Well, good luck. See you later, Balthazar. Goodbye, Julie.
Good morning, Julie. Ready for some training today? I'm always ready. Good. Let's go. Hello, Julie. Welcome back to training. To begin training, step up to the glowing floor. If you feel like skipping training today, just push the button on the door there. No training for you today, huh? Well, here you go, your sword and your sling. Now you stay out of trouble. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hello, Julie. Day to you, Julie. Fine morning for a walk. Hello, Margot. Sure is. Hey, Zig, how's it going? Hello, Julie, and good morning to you. How's Carrie doing? I've knitted the loveliest baby outfit. I want to. <gasps> huh, that's the second one to hit the shield this morning. Very unusual. Probably just a meteor shower. I'm sure you're right, Julie. I just wish it weren't so noisy. I like my mornings quiet. Me too. Well, we should be on our way to the market. Maybe we'll see you later at the pub? Yes, do join us. I hear Angus has brewed up some of his amaranth ale. Amaranth ale? That sounds tasty. Maybe I'll see you there. Get up, Lord Bucket. You piece of crap, move! Good morning. We're indeed fortunate that our champion is also a vision of such stunning beauty. What a load of crap. Your pardon, Julie? Oh, that's quite a full car you got there. <laughs> yes, the creepers seem to produce more than they eat. Well, be sure and wash your hands when you're done. <laughs> oh, yes, Julie. Oh, hey! Germain St. Germain, at your service. How's my girl Farron? Still eating up this year's crop? <laughs> Hey, yourself. Shouldn't you be home looking after Carrie instead of playing with yourself? 
Um, yeah, I'm on my way to see her. I just want to get this hover bike working. I've almost got it flying. Well, when you're finished, fly home and see to your wife before she eats everything in the house. <laughs> okay, okay, big tall and mean. I'll go see her as soon as I finish here. Hi, Julie. Yep, sweeping up. Tasha, have you seen Angus? Yes, he's downstairs blowing things up. Just look at this. He ruined my decorating. Downstairs? Okay. Angus, what the hell are you doing? Ah, Julie! Quick, cover your ears! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julie, I need to make more room in the cellar to fit my kegs of amaranth ale, and I was just blowing out some rock. That was quite a bang. What are you using? Oh, Otto gave me some of these great detonators. Alone, they don't pack much of a punch, but mix them with something volatile like creeper dung, and you've got yourself an explosion. Here, try them out. They're a blast. Thanks. I swear, Otto's a borderline pyromaniac. Well, he sure knows how to mix a bomb. And now I have more room for my nectar of the gods. In fact, we'll sample it tonight, and then we'll all go... Julie, thank heavens I found you. A swarm of strange pests are attacking everything at the creeper pens. We've cleared out all the creepers except Bessie. She's too pregnant to move. Please help me save her. What? Am I the only one in town with a sword? Come on, before Bessie gets hurt. Okay, okay, let's go.
to skewer some bugs. Glad you're here. We're taking care of the cows out here, but Bessie's still inside. Those vile creatures, you've got to... Ah! Here comes some more of those things! Take cover! Don't these things ever quit? Quick! Shut the door! Hey, wait! Jeez. Looks like I'm on my own for this one. Way to help, guys. You can come out now. Oh, uh, well, we were just looking for something sharp. Thanks. Yeah!
he's about to give birth.